It's a new year, and we've got a new American president. Our nation remains deeply divided over President Trump and his agenda. So the state of our union is we are under attack, but we are fighting back. And always remember, when we fight, we win. This is true not just in D.C., but here on the front lines at home. We fought for a strong contract in Riverside City, and we won. We fought for a strong courts contract, and we won. No matter which way the political winds blow, together we bargain, divided we beg. This year, let's keep the momentum going. We're bargaining in Riverside County. Workplace safety and understaffing are huge concerns. We need more nurses in our hospitals, and we need more staff in our clinics. As you might know, the Riverside County frontline workers are locked in a contract fight with the county. The county has taken the low road by over-relying on aimless cuts rather than thinking through solutions that can benefit everyone. Our proposals are guided by the real-world needs in the county, the need to improve the quality of services, restore and maintain better service levels, ensure public and worker safety, and cut the revenue waste. During this time, we're experiencing serious understaffing issues at work sites, at our hospitals and our clinics. Aimless cuts cannot be the answer. We cannot put the safety and the lives of our patients in peril. Uh, I worked at the county hospital for approximately three years and it was a standard to not receive breaks and then it became a standard to not even get lunch breaks and working 12 and a half to 13 hours. Um, I was exhausted, I was burnt out, and I felt like it might be affecting my patient care and uh, a dangerous situation just for me health-wise. If somebody came and said that we don't need a union uh, and things could be handled on their own, uh, just from personal experience, it, it's not, it's not possible. I'm a clinical therapist and my job is to help um, members that have just gotten out of jail or prison reintegrate back into society, reduce recidivism. It's really a challenge to try to work with this population of people to try to help them. They come out hopeful, hoping that they can. I try to instill the hope and help stay there, but without the resources and community support, we can't do anything with them. If you remember a year ago, we talked about what the Board of Supervisors said, right? They said they wanted you guys to roll over your contract with status quo. 230 changes and takeaways at the table is not status quo. We're really at a crucial stage right now. We all have to stand up for what we know is right. Labor unions are at stake, but labor unions are the voice of the middle class. We are your voice. 